We're back. We're in Greece, and we are Nancy Drew. Yay! So what did we learn in the last episode? We learned there's a play going on, plus we're trying to open up this museum here. And um, Lena has... I guess she's trying to see if there's a shipping discrepancy. Because maybe that's true, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe there's a crime to be solved. So what do we have here? We have a little piece of paper, which is um, Lena's note. And we have activities here. We've got to make sure the vase display is properly labeled. We need to create temple images for the architectural display. And we need to get tickets assigned for tonight's performance. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to just kind of poke around here and investigate. So where were those vases? I think that those are the vases over there. But I'm not sure what I need to do necessarily with these yet. There might be a picture or something that we have to find. So we've got to... Haven't done that. Haven't done that. Check. Oh, really? Okay. Cool. So, yes, it's interesting for me to get back to the modern uh, Nancy Drew interface. Uh, I've been playing all the older games recently, so <laughs> it's a nice treat to actually get to play a, a newer game. So we can go out, but I wanted to... Oh, okay. Can I not look over here? Aha! Ancient Greek coins. The Greeks began using coins, initially one-sided lumps of gold or silver around 650 BC. As coining techniques improved, coins evolved into circular stamped pieces with images on either side. Greece's independently run polis or city-states issued their own currencies. These coins were typically stamped with the image of a ruler on one side and a civic symbol representing the police on the other side. Modern coins around the world continue to use this design today. That's true because on the Canadian coins, we have Queen Elizabeth II on the back, and then we have, you know, the front side with different animals. Uh, yeah, it's all animals. I'm just trying to think if there's anything that's not an animal. No, you have beaver, you've got the loon, you've got the polar bear. Yeah, it's all animals. Ancient Greek. Oh, no, that's not right. The dime has a boat. I back that up. <laughs> the Canadian ten cent has a boat. It's a schooner, actually. But anyways... Enough about Canadian money. Ancient Greek jewelry. Jewelry was a status symbol in ancient Greece, typically only worn by the upper class. With the high level of craftsmanship behind each piece, jewelry became family heirlooms passed down through the generations. Gold was the most popular metal to work with as it was easily malleable and tarnished a little over time. Popular gemstones to work into pieces included amethysts, garnets, emeralds, and pearls. Gold leaf crowns were generally only used in religious rites due to the fragile nature of thin gold leaves. Yeah, I mean, gold is really soft, actually. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Why is this all... Oh, that's where she fell in. So that was in the last episode. She was trying to trace it, I think. And she broke the glass. Huh. Wow, there's some just soft Greek music in the background. So we should try and create my own temple. Looks like the temple is already designed. I just have to build it. Okay. Setting. Okay, floor plan. I'm not sure if it makes a difference. That's got four. Yeah, I think it's that one. Then we gotta build the capitals. Oh, I'm having flashbacks to school when we learned about Greek mythology or ancient Greece. Okay, let's put this up top. That looks good. Ah. Uh, I can barely tell. It looks like people, so we'll go with that. And that's pretty much a Zeus, isn't it? <gasps> what did I do wrong? Might be this one. No, that's right. Uh, 
Okay, so that's right. The god is right. Pretty sure. Yeah, that looks right for the god. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. The floor plan looks right too. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure if I'm supposed to be copying these or not. Well, it has a... It does have these ones down here. Huh. You know what? Maybe not. You know what? It's not. Okay, I have to actually go with what's down here. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, animals above the cornice. I think this is animals here, right? There we go. Double hall, I think, would be with it like that. Maybe. Lofty site. Pretty sure that it would be that one. I don't know about God. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. Submit. No. Try again. No. We're going to just do this and then we're going to get out of here. Okay, fine. One more. Oh, maybe there's no god. No. Alright, fine, 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 fine. Let's get out of here. We'll come back to that temple thing and then soon enough. I actually want to see this what else could is be going helpful. on here. Ah. That's uh, gonna help us, I think, maybe. Okay, we saw that already. That's the jewelry. That's the office we can't get into. I think we're done in here for now. I do want to just go and see the rest of the folks outside. So that's what we're gonna do. Wow, look at the scene here. Isn't that cool? We're in Greece, it's so cool. Famous people of Greece. Whoa. Socrates, Aristotle, Archimedes, Hippocrates. Hippocrates? Homer, do you pronounce the S? I don't know. Archimedes. Archimedes? Yeah, I think you do. Sopho, Euripides. Wow, these are all cool. I'm going to definitely have a look at this off camera. I want to read all that stuff. I don't want to bore you guys with it. If you wanted to read it, just pause the video. And, uh, you know, that way you can read it all for yourself. Okay? Cool. We're gonna hold on to that. Now, where's, uh, Thanos? Alright. It seems like a lot of work went into production. Why only one show? One show? Who said that? Niobe. Poor Niobe. I bet she wishes it was just one. She's so scared, all she sees is opening night. We're here the whole week. It seems a little strange that there are only four people in the entire cast and crew. A good stage director doesn't cast herself, but I understand Persephone. Okay, how? <laughs> I was this happy girl, and one day I fell into this vast sadness. I got out of it, but just like Persephone, I know it will come back for me, even on my best days. I definitely see you have a personal connection with Persephone, but what happens if there's a problem during the performance and you're all on stage? I don't like to think about that. What can you tell me about Gregor? I like him. I know he's the type to flatter. I know it's self-serving to listen to him when he tells me I'm gorgeous and brilliant. But you know what? I can use the emotional junk food some days. Okay. What made you interested in ancient Greece? Hmm. I guess if I had to pick an answer, I'd say the ancient Greeks. Okay, fair answer. No, no, that's not a fair answer at all. How long have you been touring? On and off for a while. This is my first time directing, but I've been acting since the day I was born. Who hasn't? Uh, a lot of people, actually. I'll let you go. Bye! Bye. So let's see if we can find 
Thanus here. I haven't talked to him yet. Ooh. Can't do that now. Can't because of. I have a question hair. for you. Okay, what's up? Why are you here? I was invited. Are you an art expert? No. no. I guess I don't get it. What's to get? Did I upset you earlier? No. The show is starting to rest on my shoulders more and more. I needed to catch my breath. Okay. What drew you to ancient Greece? Greece cultivated the thoughts and ideas that shaped the Western world, which Rome then conveniently sold door to door at the pointy end of a spear. Still, I love the gods, though. Imagine living in their shadows. Imagine. So much drama took place on Olympus. I guess the Pantheon was the first theater troupe in a way. Greece certainly has a very impressive cultural history. I know. I haven't even gotten to the music or the food. You're telling me I'll probably gain a few pounds during my visit here. <laughs> Only a few? On the behalf of the people of Greece, I'm insulted. If I had a big Greek family, I'd invite you for food and arguments and singing at the end. That would be nice. Wouldn't it? I'll make it happen one day. You'll see. Opa! <laughs> Goodbye. Right. Goodbye. There's a movie called, uh, what's it called? Big Fat Greek Wedding. And uh, for those folks that haven't seen that movie, I highly recommend it. It's a romantic comedy. And I don't really watch many romantic comedies, but that one is a good one. So let's go... Can't do that now. Downstairs? Sure. Hello? More great books. Tartarus and the Underworld. Tartarus and the Underworld. So again, if you guys want to read this book, just pause the video and that way you can take your time and have a good read. I'm going to just go ahead and do that off camera just so that I have the full experience. I need to figure out the combo. Okay, so it's not one, two, three, four, five, six. Darn. We'll have to come back to that once we've figured out the combo. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I thought I could get over there. Okay, let's go up. Say, just a shot in the dark, but you've got an agenda here? You could say that. You know what I do all day? Try to figure out what your ankle wings are for? <laughs> yes. Okay, and what else? I study people and I study characters. Not that the difference is all that big. I suppose this is leading to some insight you have about me. Wow! Conceited! Oh, I'm sorry. You're toying with me, aren't you? You and I ask the same type of questions. And yes, I am. I like figuring people out. I don't just like to. I need to. As an actor? And in life. Okay, I think Goodbye. I'm just gonna... Goodbye. ...take five steps away from you, because... Yeah. No, thank you. So where else can we go here? I don't... I'm not sure if there was a way for us to spin around. It doesn't look like we're able to spin. Oh, that's right. I still need the password for that. For personal notes. Hmm. Oh, oh, wait. Stay away from that. It'll kill you. Okay. What exactly am I staying away from? That's the fly system. It controls the scenery and the curtains, and it'll kill you. I'll be careful then. Hmm. I don't know. I don't feel like being careful. Whoop! Oopsie daisy. What was that? Can you pretend just for a day that we're a professional troop? Just for me. Surprise! There's no one back here. <laughs> we go live in mere hours. Hours. Do I need to remind you what is riding on tonight's show? Everything. <laughs> Whoops. We accidentally touched it. Well, now that she's no longer over here, let's go snoop at her stuff. Come on, game. Let me. <laughs> I want to get over there. 
Uh, this way. No. There we go. Ooh. I wonder if Xenia's notes will come in handy. Director's copy. Control remote stored backstage. Is that a number I need? 18355? Oh, you know what? I bet you that's for that control thing in the basement. Wow, look at all these numbers. 24, 40, 72, 20, 96, 120. Oh my gosh, what is all this stuff? I'm writing this down, by the way. 144 and 40. That's for the fly system. Oh, wow, look at that. First, last, repeat. That's for the tablet. Scene three, light cues. What the heck is this all about? A. I gotta write all this down? A has got three dots on it. W's got four. Good thing I have my pad of paper right next to me. Okay, I, I gotta screenshot that one. I'll be forever drawing that one. Ah, okay, so A, B, C, D. We'll have to figure that out as well. Oh my gosh, an E too. This play is forever. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and read this carefully. And I also, again, I encourage you to pause the video and do whatever reading you need to get done. There is a lot of stuff here and uh, it'll take me like a half an hour to read all this. Look at it all. Thanos wants to leave a personalized message for our VIPs. Need to make sure they have a key to the poster up front. Uh, okay, so back out of there. Ooh, I actually kept it too. Uh, I should assemble the image. Okay, we don't have time for that. We'll have to do that in the next episode. Let's just have another look over here. There's Thanos. Xena. Look at all the stage experience. Oops, come on. Set designer. He's got some experience too. Alright folks, we are out of time, but we'll be back from where Nancy drew very soon. Thank you all for watching.